Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Water site one explorer. Another one mine has come here at SK today for uh, adding turbo. But we are first going to do a vlog on this mojo. It belongs to Meet from and its cone set is gone. So whenever you turn the vehicle on a particular angle, for, um, let me show you on this side. Whenever we turn it on this side, it gets stuck at a certain point and then it moves ahead so it gives a jerk so we're going to replace both the cone set and for that we've come at SK Auto Care to remove the cone set you need to remove the two headlamp bolts which are at the top once you do that headlamp will pop out once it pops out just you know remove all the cabling and then start removing the brake first once the brake is out then you can remove all the bolts for the mud guard once that is out then you can start loosening the fork bolts to lower this and to take the T up this also you'll have to remove once the T is out then you can get access to the fasteners or the tightening bolts of uh, the T top once everything is out you'll get access to the cone set which is approximately behind this place over here and over here so as we progress, I'll show you everything. Axle has been loosened, caliper has come out. I mean nut bolt over here, that has been taken off. We use this angled Allen key to remove the bolt. So we've removed the fork tubes. How we did do that? Uh, we loosened the six bolts and because of which the gap increased we put some screwdriver and the gap increased and the tube just came out so we've kept it aside right now and the center bolt is tight so we're removing with a punch right now once this is off uh, we can move around the handle and the t very easily and change the cone set we removed the two bolts from here and now the axle has come out sorry the t has come out and this is the condition of the bearing see how rusted that is that is the reason why it is getting stuck at certain places that's the condition of the top cone it's completely rusted that is why it was getting stuck these are the cone set part numbers they call it bearing and you would need two in one box only one comes so you'll have to purchase two of these cone sets they are available at uh, Mahindra dealerships. So in Pune, we've got one. We bought it from there. These are the old cone set bearing outer rings. Both the ones have come out. They are made by SKF. So all this is out, and this is actually the new bearing ka seal. This is the old stuff. All this is the old stuff. Okay. So one of the bearings base ring has already been put in. We'll have to tap it and put it inside and one will put from the bottom. So you'll have to tap it like this from the top till it sits you know, face to face with the bottom. You can use the old ring to hammer it down. Alex has come to shoot us. So Meet is going to ride the bike other way around. So greasing the bottom part first and then we'll put in the tube. I mean the the base of the yeah, bearing. bearing. This one went in easier. Haan. So while taking the bottom oil seal cover out, um, this is the one new one, lower dust seal, this is the part number. So while taking it off, uh, all this bearings and all had stuck in the T. So we had to hammer it out and while hammering, you know, this is how the bearing has come out, completely rusted and it was completely jammed. That is the reason why, you know, bike was getting stuck at one location. So now we'll put in this at the bottom and at the top. We'll put this one of the bearings after greasing it. 
so we've put in one bearing over here and second bearing has gone from top grease it up the upper dust seal going back and then the nuts once both the bearings are in place once both the locking nuts are in place put the handle back arrange everything align it and then uh, put your fork back in putting the brake liner holder in place putting the fork back in place make sure when this top part is coming out it's the same level that is coming out at both the levels this side and this side so that your fork height is same at both the sides and then once they are out start tightening all the uh, four bolts on each side this is the height i was talking about axle and wheel has gone inside brakes and calipers are being assembled fork is almost done we just have to tighten these bolts tightening all the bolts all the bolts at the front are tightened and now we are putting the main t bolt thing is assembled we put the headlight back wiring and everything inside as well all been assembled now we'll take the bike out take a test ride and uh, once after 100 200 kilometers we'll have to come back and tighten the fork again because that time it will surely you know uh, be slightly loose because bearings will start sitting in its place and there'll be a little pull meet stepping out to take a test ride aaram se jana this is another mojo that has come to sushant's place to uh, resolve uh, starting trouble we can trigger the starter but the engine doesn't fire up anyways uh, that day that mojo was completed and uh, meet felt as if he is now riding a cycle i mean the cone set was that jammed we did a night ride also if you have seen my khambatki ride video in that uh, that mojo was also present so if any of you guys want to get the work done if you are in pune you can come down to sk auto care today we have also got a triumph that is being worked on and uh, let me know if you have any questions if not i leave all the contacts for sk in video description so you can come and get the work done here if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe see you in a new one very soon